Hey guys, so Andrew here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's getting a little close to the end of the year. Battlefield 2042 has been out for a while, and even I have to admit, they have pulled the game back a little bit. As I've said in previous videos, if you keep making decent updates to the game over and over and over again, the game will inevitably become better. But unfortunately, with the games that start out exceptionally bad and pull back even a little bit, I think a lot of people have blown it out of proportion and are basically content with a mediocre video game. This same phenomena happened with Battlefield 5 when the Pacific came out. The Pacific came out and suddenly all the problems of Battlefield 5 vanished as if they've never happened in the eyes of so many people. And that is a very dangerous thing to have happen because what if it happens with Battlefield 2042? And that's where I step in to remind people what Battlefield 2042 really has been over the past year and what it continues to be even right now. And I want to preface this by saying I do acknowledge the fact that Battlefield 2042 has made a bit of a pullback, you know, with all the map reworks and the addition of the portal weapons, some of the rebalancing of the weapons, and just generally the game is progressing a little bit with things that should have been in the game at launch, and that is even acknowledged by DICE as recently as four or five days ago in the most recent dev corner, where they were saying the game is essentially where they wanted it to be at launch right now. And I want to preface my points by saying I am in no way, shape, or form saying you cannot have fun with Battlefield 2042. That is a very important point that I, for some reason, keep having to make because I think a lot of people misunderstand where I'm coming from. As always, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for an amazing year. And let's start out with the fact that Battlefield 2042 still does not have a server browser and will not ever have a server browser. Let's remember the fact that they had to add a scoreboard into the game. Let's remember the fact that the squad menu to this day is not a squad menu at all. The squad menu is in fact an alphabetical list of players in the servers with no distinction of what squad each player is in. And before I get too far into all of these things that I'm going to be talking about in this video, the reason I'm making it is because I see videos like this or like this and obviously these videos get quite a bit of views, and I just don't think that this is uh, really representative or truthful about the game. But let's continue. Uh, let's list some recent things that are still in the game right now. I had to personally inform the developers that the recoil system of the game was bugged since beta, and if Baranox and I didn't test that, it would likely still not be discovered that it is bugged. The mouse input is still bugged. There is a 100% CPU load bug in the game currently that is causing some people to be not able to play the game at all. The game released without a class system and won't receive a class system until over a year into the game's life cycle, actually in, I believe, the next update, update 3.2. And let's not forget the most important thing of the entire game, the maps. Can't play Battlefield if you don't have a map, and the base game maps of this game are nigh unsavable. We see that with Manifest. The Manifest rework was a complete waste of time and didn't change how the map played at all. And do you know why that is? It's because Manifest as a core design is terrible and you cannot fix it. Expanding on why the maps are bad, 128 players, let's not forget that. That is a completely unnecessary thing that they did with this game and it contributed heavily to the fact that this game was delayed, released in a terrible state, uh, the maps were absolutely influenced in a negative way because of 128 players. They oversize them. The designs aren't as cohesive. And overall, there is just a major lack of flow across 99% of the maps, uh, excluding Spearhead and Stranded, and potentially Exposure, which conveniently are all not base game maps. And while we're on the topic of maps, particularly the new maps, which are new content, let's talk about the content. Battlefield 2042's content is nothing short of embarrassing. I would like to remind every single person watching this video that the Battlefield 1 They Shall Not Pass DLC, while I believe it was delayed, included six maps in one DLC, and we have yet to receive even four maps in a year for Battlefield 2042. And I'm not even mentioning any of the other content that Battlefield 1 included within those DLCs. 
And I'm sure I could go on and on for quite literally three hours if I wanted to about all the stuff that people should be remembering about Battlefield 2042 and why you shouldn't accept it. But the overarching point here is that you simply cannot just accept mediocrity with Battlefield 2042, even though they're pulling the game back a little bit. You can't forget what the game really was and still is and then pretend like every single thing is fine when the vast majority of the player base still has not returned to Battlefield 2042. Every single Battlefield video that I post, and likely even on this video, people that are subscribed to me even say, Oh, Battlefield 2042? Thanks, Anders, for this new video. Sorry, I will never be playing that. And I think that really speaks to the level of DICE's mess-up with Battlefield 2042. From the catastrophic design decisions, to the maps, to the vehicle mechanics, to whatever you really want to bring up. It really speaks to just how alienated the Battlefield community that isn't playing the current Battlefield really is. That's going to do it for this video. As of right now, uh, this is sort of my opinion with everything. As the game progresses even more, my opinion uh, is open to change. But there are also some things that are just not open to change, and I think that's completely okay. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I also stream every single day at twitch.tv enders. First link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.